What is up, world? My name is Trevor McKenzie, and this is episode zero of the Small Talk in Phuket podcast. Since it's the first one, I'll be giving you guys the rundown on what this podcast is about, what I'm even doing out here in the first place, and tell the tale of a lone MMA coach and practitioner raging against the traditional martial arts machine in China. Let's get it. podcast though everyone who's heard of thailand and can get past the existence of lady boys is probably aware it's the mecca for muay thai and for those of you that only have the hangover as a point of reference for this lovely country now you know what everyone isn't aware of is the growing mixed martial arts scene out here phuket thailand and Southeast Asia are all seeing a boom in interest of martial arts outside of their indigenous styles. This is likely due to one championship and their efforts, but that's another talk for another day. The point is that it's real out here. High level Brazilians have uh, made their way to different parts of Southeast Asia to spread the good gospel of BJJ. Gyms are bringing in wrestlers from countries where there's real love for this miserable sport. And striking here has always been high level, so there's no point in talking about that. All of this is leading to gyms like Phuket Top Team, where I'm at, Tiger, and AKA becoming landing spots for top tier fighters. Marquee fighters that are coming out to Phuket and other gyms in Southeast Asia for their fight camps or before their fight camps just to get back in shape and have a good time. The majority of this podcast will be about the martial arts scene, the people in it, and the events going out here. And uh, as this develops, I should be bringing in different martial artists because people have interesting stories and they're, they're doing dope stuff. Since everyone isn't into slowly developing a CTE over time, the other half of uh, SIP will be about people coming out here to start and develop businesses. That is when I'm not going on tangents or talking randomness. People ask me what people do out here for money all the time, and even discounting the sketchy stuff, which I definitely advise against because jail is something else out here. There's more variety than you'd expect. Everything isn't successful, but I'll leave the people I bring on to detail the pitfalls and successes of working in a different country, working remotely, or being your own boss out here. Hopefully, you guys are able to get into that. On the subject of myself and my stay out here, there there isn't too much to talk about. I'm I'm a fighter just like everyone else here. I've been in Phuket since 2016 and coming here has definitely been one of my better decisions. It, it hasn't been perfectly smooth sailing and fight life isn't nearly as glorious as UFC promo ads would make it look, but I mean, who wouldn't want to work out and chill on a tropical island, right? Um, as a pro of little experience, you won't catch me waxing poetic or doling advice, but I know people who can do either or both, so I'll be annoying them until... They join me, and in the meantime, I'm cool with answering questions at my level, so stay tuned for that. But the best part of being out here in my experience is that I can dedicate myself to something I'm passionate about with minimal distractions. If I can get across to people that martial arts is a great tool to grow as an individual, I I think I will have done my job with this podcast. Assuming you, unlike yours truly, have a life, you may not have heard of, and I might be butchering his name, uh, Zhu Zhaodong and his crusade against the claims of traditional martial artists in China. So, enjoy this story. His, His comments on their poor effectiveness in combat sparked a good bit of negative attention. 
and this negative attention resulted in a duel air quotes with tai chi master more air quotes way late to quote one of my favorite youtubers he molly whacked this dude it was over in roughly 20 seconds if you have a thing for cringe humor that video is all you you should look it up you can find it on google but afterwards he upped the ante offering a ridiculous sum of cash to any traditional martial artist that can beat him it's like a movie out there and my only regrets are that i can't watch these duels live and that people don't have to fight for a number two headband before they challenge him i'm so upset Apparently the butt hurt is real though because there's quite a few more air quotes masters Interested in defending the honor of traditional martial arts and probably to get that money Unfortunately For my dreams of a traditional Martial arts fantasy league people with a lot of clout are quelling interest by discrediting him and his last opponent Naming both participants as immature amateurs. That's a quote sad but true but on a serious note i do believe martial arts without a combat base have a practical place for people a lot of those arts get people up and moving they're they're low or sometimes no impact they help with stress and they do much needed good for people physically and mentally just uh don't try to tell me flying lotus kung fu will save you in a fist fight against an experienced opponent or even a bar fight but that's it for today. If you guys have questions or comments, feel free to drop those below. You can stalk me on social media at TJMCKENZ. That's the same for Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that. So take it easy. See you guys next time.